Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the short recording just covering the online application process for this COVID-19 tours benefit that we are all so interested in. So we thought it a good idea just to put together the steps that you need to follow that will take you through this online portal just so that you're familiar with the process and when you actually do the online application you know where to go and what to do. All right. So firstly, this is based on information available um, and that has been released in terms of a guide that was issued by the UIF Department of Labor and that happened on the 15th of April. Now like you know, our lives are changing on a daily basis so the system will probably be updated and the guides will be updated. So just to focus your attention on the fact that this is based on information available at this point in time. If you want to do the online application, this is the website that you would need to use. And best to use either Chrome or Firefox in terms of a browser. Right. All right, so what does the process look like? Firstly, if you open up the website, this is what it will look like. All right, now I'd like to focus your attention on this interesting part that they've just recently added. So this wasn't there initially. We've all been struggling to get UIF reference numbers. We didn't know where to go, who to ask. Now we know. So you can click on get your UIF reference number um, and you'd be able to get that reference num number now online, which is wonderful position to be in. Um, I think this will really help us a lot in practice. So you basically use the pay as you earn number and you get the UIF reference number by doing that. Right. So this is very important, I think. Uh, if you need that information, you can make use of this. Right. So this is what the screen looks like. There's your pay as you earn number and you click on get UIF reference and you get your reference number because, of course, this has been a hold up for many employers. You need the UIF reference number in order to claim TERS, especially also if you're a tax practitioner or accountant doing this on behalf of your client, you need the information and the clients can't necessarily provide that information to you. All right, so then you'd need to focus on the first step, which is obviously registration, right? So you'd need to go through the process to register and then after you've registered by entering all the information, you'd then be able to log in using your information. Right. All right. So this is then what it looks like if you open up uh, the portal. Um, and this is basically then where the process starts. Right. So firstly, you need to click on benefit application and payments. Right. So that's where you would click on on the left hand side on that menu. And then you'll see on the next screen, there's a drop down menu that will open up. And of course, the one that we are mostly interested in at this point in time is the COVID-19 tours benefit. Right. So you'd select that by clicking on that option. Right. Then if you click on that option, you've got two options. You can either reply. So that allows you to start the process. That is if you haven't yet commenced with the application process. And then you can also view application history, right? So that's the history of the applications so submitted via this online portal, right? If you open up the next screen, you will see that it consists of the process, consists of a couple of screens that you need to open up, provide the information. So it's various tabs that you need to open up, right? If you look at the first tab is before you start, right? So before you start, explains the application process and the documents that you're required to submit. Um, and you'd need to complete this tab before you can move on, right? So only after you've inserted all the information can you then click on the next button, right? So please go through all the tabs. Every single step is important and it's important for you to make sure that you're completing the information correctly. Right, you'll also see that there's reference here to an employee declaration, so if you click on that, that will open up a new window, right? So click on that and you then 
let me just show you you'd need to download that right um, after you've, you've downloaded that you can then click on the next button right if you look at the terms and conditions, pretty self-explanatory. So read through that. And then if you're happy, you click on the box, all right? And then you can click on next, all right? Obviously, you can go back as well. So there's also a back button. If you'd like to reverse, uh, you, you can also go back, all right? The next screen, um, the capture banking details screen, there's a number of fields that you need to submit. The account holder, the bank name, uh, the bank account type, the branch name, the branch code, the bank account number, etc. Right. So if you're a registered user, you can then just confirm that that is correct. Right. Um, and hopefully it will be because if it is correct, you can click on the next button. Unfortunately, if it's not correct, you then need to make use of a UIF call center. Right. So you then need to go through the process of correcting the information firstly. So please make sure that this information is in fact correct before you move on. It must be 100 percent correct. Right. So that's the banking details. Hopefully that will be correct and hopefully that will be a quick process for you to go through. All right. Then the capture COVID relief details screen. So the mandatory fields must be completed and that would be all the fields that are marked with an asterisk, right? So all of these must be completed as a minimum. Obviously, it's best to complete everything. Otherwise, your application might be thrown out. So enter those fields with the correct information based on what we've already discussed in the webinar and recordings and articles, etc. Um, so there are some drop down menus and you'll see that there are also calendar selections which will hopefully make it slightly easier to complete this form. Right. Um, so after you've completed all the information with the asterisks as a minimum, you then need to upload the employee declarations. It cannot exceed more than two megs per upload, right? So you do all the uploads and make sure that it doesn't exceed that. Um, and then also the ID document, right? Um, again, upload can't exceed two megs. And if you're done with the uploads, you'll click on the next button, right? So very user-friendly process, it seems like. Okay. All right, so you need to make sure that you've uploaded the correct documents. You then have the option to remove if the document that you've uploaded is incorrect, right? So if you've made a mistake, no problem. You can remove those documents as well. Make sure that you've uploaded correctly before you click on the next screen and that you're 100% happy with the uploads, right? And then you'll see that there's confirmation, right? So there's a, a checkbox that you need to click on and then you submit the application basically. And once you've successfully then submitted, you'll see the confirmation screen like you see in front of you now, right? And this might have further instructions, right? Dependent on your application. So here it just says we've received your submission. You may view the status of the submission in the application history menu items, right? So no further instructions for us at this point in time and then also you'll receive an email um, to the user and to the the registered party and this email is just basically confirmation of the fact that you've applied and that feedback will be given after processing so on the UIF frequently asked questions document they are committed to make payouts within 10 days of receiving a successful and valid application. But we've heard many success stories in the last couple of days of people receiving a payout in a day or two after submitting the document. So it seems like they've caught up with the backlog that they've had and that we will be receiving the payouts sooner rather than later, which is great news. The only problem that we've identified at this stage is that when a payout is made, that's obviously a bulk payment that has been made and that relates to all employees included in this application, right? Now, the problem with that is 
you are now responsible to almost allocate that per employee. Doesn't seem like at this stage we're receiving a, a recon or an aggregation report of how the numbers were calculated um, and what the calculations were based on. So at this stage, we're still a bit in the dark in terms of the amount that we receive and how that should be split and allocated. Uh, but I think this is a step in the right direction. It's definitely uh, wonderful to hear good success stories of people receiving payouts quite quickly and I do think that this online application process will speed up the process overall. Right, so best of luck to all of you. I hope that you're successful in your applications and I hope that you receive the payouts very, very quickly that you deserve to receive.